Hi, this is Bob from VVSD Tech showing you an overview of GScholar's teacher dashboard. You can access the dashboard by going to Apps and then selecting GScholar for Google. You'll be brought to promevogscholar.appspot.com, which is the official URL for GScholar's teacher dashboard. The teacher dashboard is set up so that you can access the different portions of Google by hovering over the menu, drop down menu here. I can navigate to other classes by clicking on the drop down menu next to the word class. I can quickly see how many students belong to that class and what time that class starts. On the left hand side, I can get a list of all of my students that belong to that class. I can search for a particular student and the three buttons next to the search box will allow me to do actions for the entire class. For example, I can collapse all the cards so I can see more students at once. I can switch the cards from tabs view, which shows me the URLs that are open for each student, and the drive view, which shows me the documents that belong to those students in my class folder. And then under the tools dropdown, I can send a message to the entire class, open a URL for the entire class, or take a screenshot of each student's current view of their machine. Many of these features are also available for each individual student. So on each card, I can see their status, the URLs that they have open at the moment. By clicking on the Tools button, I can do those same actions, but just for the individual student instead of the entire class. I can navigate to the student's drive, and by clicking on details, I can zoom in on a particular student and have access to their screenshot history, their message activity, their Google Drive, and their blog posts. I can return back to the main page by clicking on back. In addition to the class view, I can also have the Google Drive view. Each class contains three folders, one for the class shared, one for class private, and one for students. I go into more detail about the drive view for students in a later video. I can also go to blogger view and have access to each student's blog posts as well as the comments that were made on those posts. I can go to calendar view and here's the calendar for my class. Under the settings view, I can create policies that can guide my students' online experience for when they're in my class. For all the new features associated to GScholar, please visit the Promevo blog or the help. And here you can have an overview of official videos and documentation that GScholar has put out.